Well, this is it. This is my 1949 Chevrolet two-ton wrecker. It sat many, many years, I don't know how many, uh, without being driven at all. And in 1999, I rescued it, I guess you could say, uh, and turned it into a wrecker. It had a fifth wheel on the back. It didn't have the flatbed on it. And I took the fifth wheel off and put the flatbed on it and also put a wheel lift on the back of it. And I used it to haul many, many cars with. I'd haul 20 to 40 cars a week with it. And it was a real good heavy-duty wrecker so I could haul anything. It had those two big drum tanks. This type of a series of trucks was called an advanced, advanced cab design. I believe that's what they called it. Uh, size of the cabs on them are the same even two ton or half ton something neat that I did to it that people may not realize that they fit right in I put a um, I put a 1991 Silverado uh, front bench seat in there it fits in there perfectly and I used it on the original stands I did put two by fours below it it still has the old button starter on the floorboard and as you can see I left the dash all original in it I like to look at the same thing that the uh, original owner of it used to look at it has electric windshield wipers on it of all things and it's a really old looking motor I'm sure it's probably aftermarket but that motor's probably got to be at least 45 years old I probably put 20 to 30 thousand miles on this truck hauling cars something else neat about this series of trucks was it's the last year that uh, or the last series of, of trucks that still had a and a, a way to make it where you could crank it by hand. I don't know if that notch shows up, but if I had the original radiator in this thing, you'd be able to see all the way into the crankshaft. Let me open this hood real quick. I won't start it today. It has a 261 six-cylinder engine in it. That thing worked really, really well. I haven't started this thing in months. Uh, I, the city has gotten on to me and they put a notice on it saying I need to move it. So I will have to start it here pretty soon. The name of the business was called Dinosaur Towing. And one of the old junk cars I was buying had that old Kentucky Fried Chicken sign in it. And I jokingly hung that on this truck and I actually started using that to get better deals on the cars that I was buying. I told people that this was just my day job, hauling cars, but in the evenings I delivered chicken <laughs> to this old truck. I think half of them believed me and they sold me their cars cheaper. Anyway. Here pretty soon I've got to get this thing started. I'm actually supposed to move it by August 4th. I don't think the city realizes this thing runs and drives. If it runs and drives, it's got a right to be here. But I wanted to just make this quick video just to load and show it. This is a wheel lift that I put on the back of it. It came off of a 78 Chevy Wrecker. Not that one, but another one. I also recently had to put a new rear end underneath it. And uh, that came out of a school bus. And it fit right in there real well. All the rubber on it is really good. That school bus went to the wrecking yard with brand new tires on it. My two front tires came off of a United States Postal Service truck. They were the right size and they were new also. So all six tires are new on it. Those were some of the best days of my life driving that old truck, hauling cars. I ran into the guy that drove this truck when it was brand new and he told me that they used it to haul ice machines to different hotels and motels. It still has the original sign on the door. I don't know if it'll show up. But it's called Isoterra Perfection. That was something that was here in Fort Worth, Texas. And this old man saw that on the door of the truck and he gave me a little bit of history about it. It was pretty neat to see him flip out when he saw that his old truck was still being used. I used it a bunch. I haven't been using it much lately. But who knows, one day maybe again. That's all.